In this demo, I'm going to show how to use the HP 50G calculator to solve the Colebrook equation. Now, the Colebrook equation can sometimes be tricky to solve. What we're looking for is to try and find an F value. And you'll notice that this is an explicit equation where F is found on both sides of the equation. And so isolating it algebraically isn't possible. And so we have to solve the problem numerically with iterative guesses of F to try and get the two sides of the equation to equal each other. So these are just some uh, flow conditions that I took from a previous example where we have a pipe with a diameter of 136 millimeters. It's galvanized iron, which tells us the K sub S value, which is the equivalent sand roughness for the material. And the flow conditions, meaning the velocity, the diameter, and the kinematic viscosity, are yielding a Reynolds number of 1.8 million. So I'm going to, first of all, enter the calculator's numerical solver by pushing this orange 7. You'll notice that here, uh, in addition to the number that's on the key, there's white and orange instructions that are associated with each of the keys. So I've just done the orange, which is this right arrow. And you can notice up here at the top, there's also a right arrow to tell you that that's active, so that the next button I push will enter the numerical solver. It has a lot of different po possibilities, differential equations, polynomials, linear systems, finance, and so on. I'm just going to do the simple equation solver. So I can either do OK by pushing this button beneath OK, or Enter, since I'm on the line that I want to be on. So I'm going to enter the equation solver. Now I've been previously double checking everything to make sure so these values may be blank the first time you solve it uh, but what you do is you enter the equation writer. You can type in the equation in kind of this clumsy one line really confusing awful to try to use kind of way or uh, in the equation writer see here in orange EQW so I'm going to do orange EQW now I can construct the equation in a way that's visually exactly the same as I see it on the screen here. So 1 divided by the square root of f. I'm pushing the alpha button, which is yellow, to get the f that's over here on this key is equal to orange equal 2, and it's minus 2. So I need to put the minus sign on there with the plus minus. That toggles the value, and I want it to be minus log k sub s, so I'm going to call that just the variable k, divided by 3.7d plus 2.51 divided by r is what I'm going to call the Reynolds number square root of f. Okay. So the equation is entered. I can say enter. And then I'm going to put in the, uh, the values that I know are true. So 0 0.15 is the k value, the diameter 136. Now these are previously in the memory from the last time I tried the example. Um, so I don't necessarily have to type it in because it's already there. But just to show you, enter in those values and then you click over here on solve when you go to the field that you want to know solve so if I changed it from this galvanized iron to another pipe material let's say that I, I change it over to cast iron which would maybe have 0.26 I can adjust that and calculate the new friction factor by solving and now these numbers by the way you'll notice it's actually times 10 to the minus 2 and it also, if I go to enter, it has the values in the stack. And so this is the first value that I solved for, 0 0.0203. And then the second one, when I change the case of S, is loaded to here, the second solution. I can go back into the numerical solver again. And all that information will still be there. So that if I wanted to play around with things even further, if I wanted to change for a new pipe diameter, let's say I'm going to have... Uh, Oh, that seems a little bit high. Uh, 500 millimeter pipe diameter, uh, and then solve for the new F value under those circumstances, then it can just adapt as many times as I want to, and it keeps solving for the updated F value. And so uh, it's pretty handy. I think the main advantage of the HP calculator in this sense is that equation writer, because it allows you to construct the equation in a really graphical way.